Hi, this is the new update for the RasterMe version 4 and now we have some extra buttons to help you work uh, faster. So let's see what we have. Uh, in this example, we have a blurry photograph, low quality. So let's resize it. Okay, and now you can just enhance it a bit and sharp it. So this is much better because I, uh, when you print it, it will, it will be darker. And now you have a better um, document to work with. Uh, from here, I will just clean uh, the darker areas of the design and I will just use the action. As you see, just take off the backfill. You will see that you have uh, your design ready uh, to print. Uh, let's use another one. This is a logo, but if you inspect this, uh, you don't want to do anything with this. You just want to print it in a uh, light color t-shirt. So as you see, you have uh, transparent uh, pixels. You will just need to resize this photograph. And from here, you can just click the tran trans clean. And as you see now, you have only 100% uh, colored pixels. You don't have uh, transparencies, so no problem printing this. From here, some of the some of the, my customers ask me to create this uh, uh, this button, this action. It's called uniform dots, but without knocking out any color. So, for example, from here, we have no transparent edges. And if you just click it, you will see that you have uniform dots um, all over this design. So this one helps you with the washability of the, of the design. Uh, spend less money on inks and this has a softer feel. Um, let's see another example with this. So this one, as you see again, low quality, blurry picture, picture, resize, rename. I will enhance it, sharp it if I need it. I will clean the darker areas of the design. And now you will see that we just click uniform dots but you need to be careful with this action because of course you're ma you're making holes in the designs and you're losing information so now this one is uh, darker than it was before we make it um, with uniform dots so maybe here maybe you have to add a little bit of uh, brightness or maybe some saturation or vibrancy, whatever you prefer. Uh, as you see, with here is without anything, and now it's with everything. So you will have some uh, information lost in this design. Uh, from here, we have another button. This button is called Save. And what it does is uh, it saves this photograph uh, in your desktop or in any folder that you like. So without have to go file, export or save as, just click this button and it will save you uh, your document. Uh, but before you use it, you have to set up this button. How you do this? you go back to the not to the button mode you go into the raster me you open the save action you open here this little arrow and here as you see it will try to save it as a tiff in my in my computer um, so here you have to double click this button 
and save it the first time to your desktop. And then every time you click it, it will go in the same uh, in your desktop. So let's double click this one. And as you see now, I would like to save it in my desktop with uh, this name. Uh, and I want to save it as a PNG. So just ah, as you see here, the this record button is activated. So that means that whatever you do now, it will save inside the, this action. So let's click Save. And here, um, OK. Wait. And as you see now, this uh, button is deactivated and it says here that it will try to save it in my in my desktop or where you place it as a PNG and copy. And after setting up this button, you don't have to worry again. It will be saved in the same um, address every time. So this is the new update. Um, most of the program is the same because it's very, very uh, fast to work with. Uh, and I think these buttons will help you as they help me uh, work faster. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.